Today's video is probably gonna be all over the place. Don't really have a plan for today's video, but we're making one. I've had a lot of people message me on Instagram, comment on videos, reach out, whatever the case may be, that they would like to see my fishing setup, my gear, how I organize my gear, truck, boat, just anything related to what I use to go fishing. So I thought today would be a pretty good day to do that. This will probably be a pretty boring video to some people who just wanna watch fishing content or watch me catch fish, but to others this might be pretty interesting on what I use to go fishing. So when it comes to what I'm interested in, I like to watch fishing videos or camping videos. And when I'm watching camping or fishing videos, I really enjoy watching videos where people show what they're using, their setup, their gear, how they organize their gear, what they're buying, what they're using. So I thought that'd be cool to kind of do one of my ends since people have been asking for it and I enjoy watching videos like this. All right, getting out of the truck now. Like I said, this video is kind of going to be all over the place. I'm not really organized right now, and I have no idea how I want to film this video. I've never done a video like this, but we'll jump right into it. We'll start with the truck, the money maker, what pulls the boat, what pulls the boats, because I fish with two boats my dad and mine. So this is a 2002 Dodge Dakota. It is a 4.7 liter V8. I'm not a big car guy. I'm not a big truck guy. I just know what I like. But yeah, I'm really happy with this truck. Solid truck. I pretty much only use this truck for fishing, but I love it. And it is my first truck. It's my first truck I've ever owned and I'm pretty happy about it. Now that I got all that boring stuff out of the way about the truck, let's see how I organize my gear. Now keep in mind, this is actually pretty neat. It's usually way messier than this, really dirty, really unorganized. So this is actually a pretty good setup for right now. Over here on the left is where I keep most of my lures, pretty much all my lures when it's in the back of the truck. I have a lot of soft plastics. I have a lot of crankbaits. Um, got my weights and hooks at the bottom here. I normally only carry bass fishing stuff in here, but I am getting ready to hopefully fish sockeye here soon on the Columbia River. I've been really busy with the homework and a whole lot of other things, so I haven't been able to get out there for sockeye yet. I'm hoping to do that soon, and if I don't, my bad. So yeah, this is where I keep all my stuff. I probably won't get into everything I have because that's pretty boring. I kind of sockeye rig where I keep my sockeye layers and wrapped around that. It's down here. This is kind of my, like I got cutters in here and a bunch of other things, but I like this box specifically because when I'm out fishing and I cut something off and I don't want to put it away right away where it goes in that box, I just throw it in here. It's just a lot quicker to throw it in here, get off the water, get home, cut the tag ends off, and then put it back where it goes into the gearbox. I'm sure a lot of other people do that, but that's kind of what I like to do, and it's a good idea if you don't do it. Put that back. And it is a small truck, so you kind of have very little room. Back here is where I kind of like to store random things. I, right now I have my um, two-stroke oil and then the container I use to measure how much oil I put in the gas tank. So I'll often keep that there and I'll sweep that over and I'll kind of put this bungee cord around so it doesn't move around in the truck. And that's pretty helpful. I do need to organize a little better than this because it's still a little chaotic. Back here I have this green bag and I use this green bag for my camera equipment. I like to keep my drone in there, my GoPro stuff, the Canon stuff, and anything kind of camera related. My gimbal if I can. It's a really small bag. I like this bag but it's definitely pretty small for camera stuff. Thinking about getting a bigger bag or a different kind of case for camera equipment because it is pretty packed. I keep, here's the Canon case. I got the drone thing in here. I'll put GoPro in here and I don't have everything in here right now because I'm not fishing but I'll put a couple of portable chargers here for the GoPro, for my phone, and anything else that I need to charge on the water. But yeah, this is my bag. This is what I use for electronics and just random stuff. Got a strap there if I need to strap anything down. Here's kind of how I keep my rods in here. And it looks pretty chaotic. It looks like things will get tangled up pretty easy, which it happens to be the case. I have two extra rods in here that are a little bigger, and that's because I'm rigged up to go sockeye fishing here soon, so they are kind of just in the way there. Don't normally have those back here. Like I said, it's normally just bass fishing rods but they're hanging out here. I would kind of like to find a setup and I don't know how I'm gonna do it because these rods are kind of longer and I know that some of these are two piece rods and I could take them apart but I hate doing that because it takes a lot longer than it needs to if I just keep it together. But I think it'd be pretty cool to kind of set up a system up here where I can keep the rods up on the, the ceiling, if you, if you will, of this camper or this uh, canopy type deal. I don't know if I'm ever gonna do it but I think it'd be a good idea to kind of keep things out of the way and I'd keep more room here at the bottom. Put that away. This is for my Yeti. Sometimes I'll put random stuff in here to kind of strap it to this gearbox here. But yeah, here are my rods. Here's my net. You need the net. I'm always using the net because even for smaller fish, I, I tend to use this net because they pop off. I don't always set the hook properly when I try to swing them over the boat. And I got my favorite stick here. I think everybody needs a favorite stick, a walking stick, but I use this stick to get things out of the back when they slide back there because I don't like getting up there and crawling back there. So yeah, this is my stick. I love this stick. I found that stick like two years ago while I was camping. I got my two Yetis back there. 
pretty bougie to have the two Yetis. They have to be the Yeti brand, otherwise you're not cool enough. Uh, they give the truck a little bit more horsepower, so that's why I have both of those back here. I usually put food or drinks in that one and it stays cold for a long time. I have the bigger one back here because like I said, I do plan on going sockeye fishing here soon and it would be pretty helpful to have that just back here instead of digging through the garage to get it. But yeah, two Yetis, two ice chests. That's kind of how I store everything. Not a whole lot of excitement back here. Pretty unorganized. It it's semi-organized. It is a little bit more organized because I am getting ready to go fishing. I'd have to do a video of how the back here looks after a fishing trip because it looks like a tornado definitely ran through here after I'm done fishing. All right, that is how I organize the tackle. This is my boat. The nickname for the boat is La Plancha. I love this boat. It is a great little grinder boat. I really like this boat because I can beat it up. I'm able to get on rocks and dirt, mud, whatever, weeds. I can really put this boat through a lot. I beat it up. I put it to work, I use it a lot. I can go on and on about how much I love this boat. It sits on the water really well. It does a really great job in shallow water. I've also taken this boat out in 15 plus mile per hour winds many times, 20 mile per hour winds, and it's done a great job with the waves and the wind and whatever else the case may be out there on the Columbia River. Now time to talk about the goods. What makes this boat go? What makes this boat fly? I have a 20 horsepower Mariner or Mariner. I don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Mariner. I think it's Mar Is it Mariner? I don't know. This really solid motor has done me pretty good. Now that I'm making this video, something's probably going to break on it, but that's owning a boat. Got a six gallon gas tank back here. Got the battery box and the battery inside of it, obviously. Uh, this is a new battery box. I don't really like it because it only has one port here for a depth finder. And I have two depth finders on this boat. Back here's the cables for the trolling motor. They run through here and they run all the way to the front. This is my bro. Help me out. This is not the most expensive, the coolest, the best boat in the world, but it is my boat and I love my boat. As far as the electronics, I have a Helix 7 depth finder here, and it does really good for me. It's kind of overkill for this boat, but I really like it. Up there I have a Helix 5. Now that I've gone through the specs of the boat, what the boat is, the motor and all that, I'm gonna show you guys how I rig up the boat with my rods and my gear. So the boat is rigged up with some of the rods and reels. I don't have everything in here, obviously, because just a mild kind of example of how I get rigged up. So I normally sit here in the captain's seat. I always sit here. Lures go right there. I got my camera stuff right here. Easy access for myself. Have my water there. We'll put some rods on that side, some rods on this side. Got the net up here. We'll sometimes put a Yeti here for snacks or a small ice chest for other snacks or sandwiches or whatever. Uh, trolling motor pedal up here, and I really didn't get too much into the trolling motor. This is a 55 pound thrust trolling motor. It moves this boat pretty good. But at long last, this is my setup. This is my gear. This is everything I use to go out and catch a couple fish if I'm lucky. But this will conclude today's video. If you like today's video, make sure you do give it a like. When you guys like the video, I, I know I'm doing something right. If you guys aren't liking it, then I, I feel like I need to change things up. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Appreciate you tuning in. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. We definitely appreciate it. Always appreciate all the support. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. I'm super close. I'm getting there. I'm at like 820 something. So hit the subscribe button. Help me out. Appreciate all the support, guys. And I will see you guys next time.